Hey there, I'm back to uh, show you a little bit about making the camera follow a an object. Um, this is based off of the last video on simple camera stuff, so if you haven't seen it, you probably want to see it. Um, but uh, we have the basic camera here thing, uh, just like last time, uh, orbits and everything. So <clears throat> what we're going to do in this one, if you notice if I grab the cube and I move it, the camera just stays in place and looks at it fly away. And that's not something we want for, uh, say, if this was a player. So uh, let's go into our camera script. So just open up the follow camera script. And let's add a new uh, variable up here. Let's call it private um, vector3 offset. Let's call it position offset is equal to vector3.0. And then in our uh, uh, start function, we're going to add some logic. So what we're basically going to do is we're going to get the current offset of the camera when we press play. So you can see that this is at, uh, well, it's at like 0, negative 2, uh, 0. And the camera is at negative 10, 0, 0 over here. Um, and it doesn't have an offset. So if I were to do something like inside of here, if I were to say transform dot position um, is equal to target dot position or oh, dot transform dot position, you will see that the camera will jump inside the box and be stuck in the box. That's not what we want. So uh, let's we can add the offset. So we can say uh, add position offset. Now even still, it's going to jump inside the box because our offset is zero. So we need to inside of our start function, we need to set the offset to the current distance between the camera's current position and the uh, target's position. So we would say position oops position offset uh, is equal to let's do target dot uh, transform dot position subtracted by uh, transform which is this camera dot position and that may make it flip to the other side because I put subtract instead of plus yep so we need to put a plus sign here or subtract it the other way around I suppose yeah we're gonna subtract it the other way around so let's take this transform position, put it over here, and subtract it. And hit play. There we go. Now the camera stays in place. Now if we grab this object and we move it, you can see the camera moves with it. So uh, just look over here in uh, the viewport. You can see that the camera is now moving with the object. So now if you had a your player controller that we did in a previous video on this object and you had it moving and then you had this camera script attached and this uh, and that capsule attached to the camera's target, well then uh, you also notice that the orbit's going to be messed up uh, because it continuously adds to the offset. So if you want to do a little math you can make that work. But anyways, um, yeah you could add that uh, in as the target for that capsule and then move around the capsule and you'll see the camera follows. So that's it for this uh, simple tutorial on making the camera follow an object uh, which hopefully is uh, something that you may find useful. So uh, yeah, we're done.